Yo, what is going on, you guys? This is Astravi. Um, today, I'm making a video on how to make a fading door in Gmod. Uh, it's not that hard. Basically, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, so, it should, you know, at the end of this video, it should be like this right here. You have your fading door. I have it on for five seconds. As you will see, it closes in five seconds. So let's get on with the tutorial. Um, the first things you want to do is you want to find you a prop. So in this prop list right here, the most commonly used prop is this one right here. So I'm gonna just use this prop. Uh, it's right here. It's on construction prop, and it's the uh, sixth one down. So to make a fading door, first things first, you have to find the fading door button. So it's fading door. Make the object fade away when activated. So what happens is you're going to make a fading door. For this fading door that I'm doing, I'm going to make it a numpad 4. Alright. So I click it. And now it is set as a fading door. So now to make a fading door with a keypad, which on most Gmod servers you need to make a keypad for a fading door. Um, you'll see a menu over here. I'm on keypad. See? And it'll look like that when you're done. So basically... Um, Hold on, let me remove this real quick. Okay, so you have your keypad. What you want to do is uh, you want to have secure, secure mode always on because if you don't have secure mode on, it's going to show the numbers. So the best way to do it is secure mode and then you right click to update it and now it doesn't. So to make it fade, I put my fading door as numpad 4, so I need to put my keypad access granted as numpad 4. Now I update my keypad, and then right here, you're, it'll probably go for like 3 seconds. Well, not like 0, yeah, 0 0.02 seconds or something like that. It's really fast. So what the, I think the maximum on most servers is like 5, well, the minimum is like 5 or 8. I'm going to just set it to 5, so you put the hold link to 5, update it, 1, 3, 2, 4, and as you can see, you have a fading door. Also, if you want to, to uh, let's see, if you want to make it longer, you just bring that up, hugs it for even longer, okay, and so basically that's how you make a password for a fading door. If you want to uh, figure out how to put one on the other side, all you do is just, just press it again, and then you have a keypad on both sides. Alright guys, thank you for watching my tutorial, and I'm Astravi, and I'm out.